How's it going guys? Pens for Friends here and today I'm playing some Scout on Sujin. Now, I know I haven't made a video in a while and that's because I was away for Christmas break and that's that's just Yeah, that's there's no other way of putting it. There's no sugarcoating it. I was just away and there's nothing else I can really say or do about that. Anyways, in this game I was having a lot of fun and I uh I managed to have a couple duels with this scout here you see. And uh yeah, it was just really fun, and we're, uh, we're Steam friends now, and that's all good, so we had a lot of fun with that. Um, yeah, and also I got a bunch of new items over the break. Uh, you probably, you might have noticed already, you probably didn't notice actually, but I got a Strange Unusual Wingman, which I've painted an air of debonair to match my flak jack. So yeah, it's, it's really nice. I got a Tesla coil effect on it. I picked it up on the market for around 70 Canadian dollars, and yeah... I know it might not be the most expensive item, like, you know, the average Burning Flames god tier hat that every YouTuber has, but, you know, I think it's cool and I like it, so that's that's what I'm going to stick with for now. So, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So, as you can see here, I'm playing a lot of Scout, and I've actually decided to focus a lot on Scout as my as like one of the classes I'm in and I don't believe in really maining any one class and then just sticking to it all the time but uh, it is important in my opinion to be able to play one of the competitive classes well and by competitive classes I mean scout, soldier, demo man, or medic and the reason I think that's important is because I think that if I ever consider playing a competitive or if anyone else does for that matter that it's important that, like, you should be able to adapt and play one of the classes that, like, that's that's needed. Because, like, if, like, I know I like to play Spy, but if I, like, there's not really a huge need for, uh, like, a Spy in competitive 6s or even 4s. But, I mean, in Highlander, I suppose that's a bit of a different story, because you can really main anything and get away with it. Yeah. Uh, I also got a... A new scatter gun, a new pistol, and like the bat saber that you guys saw earlier. And I think, and yeah, that's. Uh, mm -hmm. I got a new. Uh, it's just new stuff, really. I mean, can't really say a lot about that. I gave him funny names just, just because. I don't know. I think funny names for like for your scout items. I mean, it's just, it's not really annoying. It's just you're trying to be funny. And I, I, I like to be funny. I don't, I don't like people to feel, like hurt or offended whenever I. Uh, like, I kill them in, in game and stuff. I mean, it's just, it's just fun. And I think some people, like, just forget that, and they get all caught up in it. And they forget to just appreciate the game and have fun. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean... Actually, a little later in the game, I did play some uh, Pyro, Sniper, and Spy, but I just wanted to focus on this a little bit, because I thought it was the most... the most fun. Yeah, there's, there's the uh, other scout again. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. I think there's a bit of a natural rivalry between me and that scout because he was using Mad Milk and I was using the bat. Well, not, not, not the bat, sorry, the pistol. <laughs> and I, I was using the pistol and he's using the Mad Milk and those are sort of the two usable weapons. Like, I personally, I, I'm trying to use the pistol a little more. <laughs> so he came around here and we had a good taunt because, you know, good game and stuff. Yeah, that was all. That was all pretty good. Good good first round. I mean, we didn't quite win, but I had a lot of fun. <coughs> Anyways, round two here. Just flipping through my weps. Wait until we get out the door here. Alright. So yeah, I'm just going this way here. I'm just going to, uh, through the side. There's not really a lot of action over here. Oop, Pyro caught me. Just, uh, that. Honestly, I don't know why he pulled out his Neon Annihilator there. He probably, well, obviously, he might have known that was out of his melee range. Anyways, yeah, this soldier, uh, he's uh, shooting his airstrike. I don't know why he's using his airstrike, though. I mean, it's not really useful when you have a roof over your head because you can't rocket jump and uh, stay in the air for very long. <laughs> So over here, I do a little pole jump off there, and it's actually, it like, I, I didn't actually realize it before I made this video, but it's actually a really neat and efficient flank route, so that's why I used it. It's really nice, because then you can get right up and close to their spawn, but that can also, 
be a bit of a disadvantage for you as well, because then you have, like, you're really close to their spawn and you can overextend quite easily. And actually, they did uh, chase me out and get me. <laughs> yeah. And coming out of spawn again. Soldier really close. He managed to just finish, finish himself off. So, yeah, going out. Going out to the uh, little uh, pagoda over here. Actually, uh, I really like this little zone, and I think it's a really unappreciated part of the map because it's a really 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 nice sniper area it's like sometimes like at the beginning of the round I'll sneak out there as a sniper and there's camp out at the back of the yeah, roof because you get a sight line straight out of their spawn and that's really powerful so yeah then I had another duel with, uh, with, my, with this scout guy here and I actually finished him off with the pistol even though he was using mad milk so that was a kind of in your face moment there so yeah, climbing up to the top of the roof, there's not really a lot going on, but it's nice to have a bit of a height advantage over your opponents. Like this engineer, he didn't really notice me until later, and he was surprised. So he's just uh, trying to hit me with his Widowmaker. And I thought he would go for the health back, but actually he doubles back and turns around. Demo Man comes out of nowhere, I finish him off with my Bat Saber. Uh, he's trying to spam me out, but I double back, and he doesn't even know. So he's trying to look that way and find me, but actually I turn around. And I uh, jump and finish them off. And then I try and get away because I'm really close to their spawn over there. So yeah, going back to the uh, little pagoda out here. I'm just coming back over the bridge. I see uh, the other scout over there. And I wanted to have a duel with him, but there's a mini sentry over there. And it's shooting at me. And that sort of makes it a little unfair. But you know, trying to put up a fight. Like, e even if you're in a situation where you can't win. And you know you're going to die. You might as well just... Like, do as much damage as you can and make the best of the situation. Because as a scout, you're pretty you're pretty squishy. And, like, knowing and accepting that you might die sometimes is really good. And also it's good to get the element of surprise on people like I, like I did there. Because he, no, he had no clue I was there. And I just finished him off with a couple pistol shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun and that was pretty cool. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, please check out my other videos, and hopefully I'll be able to post a lot, a little more. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.